Hey, how's it going guys? Drock Aqua is here at it again with another Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Now, I'm sorry if my voice kind of sounds a bit uh, raspy or dry. It's because um, I have a sore throat, but don't worry. I know it's coronavirus is going on. I don't have the coronavirus. I'm okay. It's just that I have a sore throat. And uh, just looking at what we had, the difference from last time and this time. Well, right now I'm recording on OBS Studio. Not Streamlabs OBS, but OBS Studio, which is like um, the first, I think, um, version. And it's like the first bra or like live stream slash recording uh, browser, I think, that like uh, YouTubers, like YouTube uh, wants you to do. Or something like that, I don't know. Um, anyways, if you look in the layout, the layout is the same, except um, since I'm using Streamlabs, it was kind of different. Uh, before, I was using Shotcut. It's an editing tool that uh, helped me place the video w near the layout. That's why if you're looking at the border of where the video should be, it's kind of extending a bit. Um, but that's okay. Um, we have our subscription goal, which is our subscription goal is supposed to uh, make us reach, um, let's say 500. I mean, there's a few more days to go, but like we could try to reach 500. No worries. Our uh, basically our donation goal for me to get a new webcam. We have like um, I researched online. I did my research. It costs like about 200. And uh, yeah, that's if you guys want to donate, it's up to you guys. And lastly. Our, the last time you guys were here, our Charmeleon evolved into a Charma uh, Charizard. I was about to say Charmander. It evolved into a Charizard. Our Blaze is looking like that. Our Ace, meanwhile, is um, three. I know 3D is pretty cool. I like to put 3D sprites. Anyway, our Pokemon. These are our stats right now. Our Charizard, Blaze, looking at us. With the fire and fighting, docile nature, or docile, whatever it is called. Um, these are its stats and uh, its attacks are wing attack, cut, flamethrower, meta claw. Our sparks is our Pikachu. It has thunderbolt, tackle, and uh, other sorts of moves, and also it has these type of stats. Its impish nature. Ace is our Pidgeot. Recently evolved uh, through grinding. It these are its stats. These are its attacks. And Gyarados, our boy Neptune Gyarados. He's been carrying our team for a long time. I really appreciate Neptune. Um, appreciate. I can't talk because you know. Hopefully you guys can hear me perfectly. I don't want to sound a bit um, so quiet because that's why I'm yelling to the microphone. Hopefully it doesn't really. You know, kind of sounds a bit too loud. Um, anyway, we have Neptune and the stats of Neptune. Felix, aka PewDiePie, aka my uh, friendly, um, my childhood nickname if I was supposed to have a dog. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I recommend you guys to see the previous videos or start from episode one and then on, continuing. Because uh, this is how we're currently in Lavender Town. And um, to know how we got Felix and how we nicknamed him, uh, there was like a brief summary in the previous episode. Uh, basically, I nicknamed him uh, for like if I had a childhood dog, that's what I would nickname my childhood dog, Felix. But this is also a reference to PewDiePie. And uh, another interesting fact about me. I say in many videos, including this video, I have the same birthday as PewDiePie. Anyway, let's go to, um, let's start this adventure, shall we? We are at, let's just see if we have the self scope. If I remember from the last time we did, I'm sorry guys, I couldn't like post, like, you know, in a timely fashion. It's just that I had, a, I was busy with school. And uh, since I was busy with school, like, you know, and uh, the coronavirus is spreading, so we don't have to go to our placements or anything and in-class stuff. So I'm okay with that. Okay. So if I'm correct, we go up. We go left. 
keep on the left. Okay. Okay. I'm using a map to know where I'm supposed to go. Alright, because no caster GBA, I think, has this thing where it's like, it can't quite, uh, the fogginess is due to, like, you know, something. So, I'm using the map to know my way around. It's like a blind person, except you're using a map. Which is pretty cool. Okay, we do this, we do this, we do this. And we have a ghastly encounter. Let's just go through this. I really like the sprites of Charizard. I mean, for me, it's very nostalgic. I know I didn't play through Kanto, like Gen 1. I, I was like, in when I was, uh, oh my god, I can't even talk properly. I was born into Pokemon between the gen of Gen 3 and Gen 4, so that's why I enjoy playing these types of gens. Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. We'll be doing a, uh... Okay, I'm not sure where I am right now. I should be in the right place. Okay, so... Go down. Nope. Continue to go down. Okay, this... Let's see where we're at. Okay, I think. So we don't know where we're at currently, but we could just try to, you know, make our way through the tower. So, okay, let's see. Where are we? We're on the fourth floor. We should be close, though. So. Okay, now I know where we are. Okay, let's run. Come on. Okay. Okay, I really don't want to be lost. Where am I going? Made it. Okay. Okay. We made it to the fifth floor. Okay, judging by the map, I know how to get through this. So we go over here, we go over here, we go over here. We pass this trainer. We keep on walking. Okay. So far doing so good. So far so good. We just gotta go fast this, fast this. Hey, what's going on? Okay, that's a good thing. I know where we're at. So we just need to go past here. Correct, yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right, sixth floor. We could do this. We're only one floor ahead where Mr. Fuji is. Okay. This floor seems to go down. No? Ah, that's where we go down, okay. So, Blaze, just run away. Perfect. I don't remember correctly, okay. Perfect, we're on the right route, okay. Okay, that's good. Let's try to quickly go. Enough, be gone, yada yada yada. The ghosts of Silk Silk, we used it, it's a Marowak. It's the Marowak, it's the mother of the Cubone, which is so sad. If you guys watched, um, I mean, if you guys just read the monologue and whatever, and like knowing the whole thing, I don't want to kill it. As a kid, what I would do, I would capture it, because, you know, it's kind of sad to know that Cubone lost his mom and everything. Do we have a, we have a great ball. Let's try to capture it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 what? We can't. Oh, it can't be caught. Okay, so we have to kill it. Huh, that's odd. Oh yeah, that's right. As a kid, I always wanted to capture like P gym leaders, Pokemons and everything. So I'd use cheats to, um, I'd use cheats to uh, capture other trainers' Pokemons. So, okay, so this is where Mr. Fuji is. 
we could do this guys each Pokemon grunt we're gonna take them down like um like it's uh it's the bridge so I have to commentating it kind of sounds boring and everything it's just that today is kind of like a so 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 day and everything I'm just tired because um there's Mr. Fuji right there Charizard is carrying the team. Okay, who else should carry the team? Sparks. Pikachu. Alright, use Thunderbolt. Perfect. Oh no, it's poisoned. Don't worry. Don't worry. We could we can do this, don't worry. We're good, we're good. Alright. Pikachu. Oh no. Why did it send out Charizard? I forgot to switch. Okay. Pikachu, let's do this thing. You okay? Don't worry. You got this. You got this. Radita, let's switch into Pidgeot. And let's use Gust. I always love Pidgeot. I remember um, when I was little for Gen 4, what I would do is I would play... Um, my team consisted in... Uh, this was in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, if I remember, my team consisted of uh, two Gyaradoses, and uh, one was the shiny Gyarados from Gen 2, and the other one was a normal Gyarados. For me, it was like the ultimate duo. One was capable of like using Hyper Beam and like other powerful moves, and then the other one would be like a TM slave, so it would know like you know most of the water moves, like Waterfall, Dive, and everything. So it was fair. it was fun. I enjoyed that team. Um, okay, I've been playing uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield on my brother's switches. My I have two older brothers. I played Sword on one of their switches, and I enjoy the game so far. It's pretty fun. Um, I would say it's like one of the best uh, thing games I ever did. Uh, games I ever played. We have the Pokemon flute. Okay, now we get to wake up that giant Snorlax. So let's make our way. We already got the Poke flute. All right, we got the Poke Flute, and we can now go down to the Fisherman area. When we go to the Fisherman's area, uh, I don't think we did this. Yeah, we didn't do this. Okay, we're going to have to grind with Pikachu on this one, because it's Pikachu's special turf. So, destroy them. Pikachu is going to have a fun day tonight. Because it's going to destroy all the Pokemon. Water type effect. Electric is uh, super effective. So, you know, we're going to go massacre with all the water type Pokemon with Pikachu. It's going to be like that in the first episode of Pokemon where Ash, uh, like Pikachu doesn't like Ash. And then Ash sacrifices himself like he always does. And in a traumatic moment. Oh yeah, thing about sacrifices. I remember um, the Mewtwo new movie is supposed to come out. It's called Pokemon. I think it's Mewtwo Evolution or Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. It's like a 3D version of uh, the Pokemon movie of Mewtwo Strikes Back. Um, I enjoyed that movie, especially when I don't know why when I was little, I would always cry when Ash died to the hands of Mew and Mewtwo, and all the Pokemon started crying and everything. Now I just start laughing because I know how stupid that is. Like, why the hell are you going to sacrifice yourself? Like, that was like just so pointless. Like, stop fighting. And then he, uh, he gets like, it's like he turns into stone. I mean, I remember I saw like a bunch of animations where it's like, um, someone did an animation. I forgot. It's like where... Ash is gonna get destroyed, and instead of turning into stone, like, this guy gets, like, disintegrated. It's, like, there's, like, blood and everything, but that was an animation that I think it was in... I forgot where I saw that, but, like, you know, I remember I saw that. Um, okay. So let's do this thing. Okay, I got one over here. Let's do this. Okay, hopefully we could uh, beat this game quickly.
I'm going to at least try to get near the Snorlax, and then uh, we could call it a day. Well, I'm going to try to record another video, because, uh, oh yeah, by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy, um, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. I know it's St. Patrick's Day because uh, it's my mom's birthday today, so, you know, that's, that's, that's a good uh, way to remember St. Patrick's Day. Okay, double battle. Okay, Pikachu, you know what to do. Pidgeot, you know what to do. Ooh, Pikachu had a clear hit. Alright, that's good. That's odd. I've never seen these guys before. Okay, whatever. Alright guys, we're gonna call it a day and record the next version. I'm just gonna save it quickly. Save this. Come on. Save it again. Save it. Okay. And now we're gonna stop recording. And peace out, y'all.